So it looks like there's going to be another beloved franchise that is going to be unfortunately subjected to a horrible remake. This is this is just something that's going on right now in Hollywood, and there's only one of two reasons why this is happening, okay? The only reason why they remake stuff is for one of two reasons. One, they are either creatively bankrupt and they are incapable of creating anything that's interesting now that people are going to actually want to latch on to, so they unfortunately have to use something that has a lot of clout from a previous release to try to bolster a remakes release and to make it successful because they can't make anything original that's going to be successful that's reason number one reason number two there is some strange agenda going on where they absolutely want to remake all the classic movies and tv shows for the modern audience now i think okay personally i think it's definitely a mix of both. I think that not only is Hollywood currently creatively extremely bankrupt, but I also think that there is an agenda going on where they absolutely want to remake all classic movies, all classic TV shows, and make it for the woke modern audience, as we love to call them. Because not only is this some sort of corporate pandering piece from Hollywood, but it's also something that is just, it's, it's a massive, massive scale of a thing, okay? Like, I don't really know how else to explain it, other than it is literally just something that they've been trying to do for a while now. This is why we see all of our favorite tv shows and movies being remade constantly and they're all trash very few projects that were ever remade actually came out to be a good thing it's not one that i could think of in recent memory unfortunately but especially when it comes to like the disney shows and movies they all pretty much suck okay like animated movies just do not translate very well into live action like you know remakes or stories or whatever it just doesn't translate well the reason why lion king failed is because the original lion king animation was so good at portraying human-like animation on these lions and then once you had a real lion being used for it, it it doesn't translate well like you can't showcase the same level of emotion that was required for certain scenes in the original movie that wouldn't translate into the remake but there's a bunch of reasons but anyway we're gonna get into the article because now apparently the wizard of oz yes the wizard of oz is going to be the next one to be subjected to a remake that's going to feature not only for the modern audience but lgbtq representation yes they are going to put lgbtq characters in wizard of oz okay the most stupid fucking thing i've ever heard but of course this is what they're gonna do and i hope that if they make anyone gay it's the tin man because i think that would be pretty damn funny so let's get into the article guys but of course before we do if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you think of today's story and let's get into the video guys All right, guys, today's article comes from some good old bounding into comics, and it says, Warner Brothers, The Wizard of Oz remake will feature LGBTQ representation as part of a story that reflects the world. Now, this is the agenda part of things, okay? Like, what I mean by agenda is when everybody starts saying the same exact thing, and they're all doing the same exact thing to get the same point across. This is the same thing they keep talking about. Whenever they remake TV shows, whenever they remake movies, they always use the same exact wording. We're going to reflect the world that it is now. We're going to reflect the modern world. You know what's most insulting? When they talk about reflecting the modern world, okay? And they talk about, like, making it into, like, diversity and all this stuff, adding black characters, Spanish characters, whatever. It is so insulting because these white liberals really want people to think that diversity is a modern thing, okay? They don't want people to realize, and, and I'm sure a lot of people do realize, they don't want people to realize that diversity was a thing for fucking centuries, bro centuries all right and it's ridiculous that you're trying to push this thing as if oh diversity is now a modern thing we need to reflect the world that we live in now what do you mean the world we live in now these people have existed long before your fucking white liberal politics ever existed so it doesn't make any sense your white guilt should not translate into forcing fake diversity on screen but unfortunately it does because that's just the world that we live in you know what i mean but anyway let's go into it so it says when it was first announced that blackish creator <laughs> blackish creator Kenya Barris was creating yet another reboot of the classic film Wizard of Oz. Audiences were puzzled to say the least. After all, the original 1939 cinematic adaptation of L. Frank Baum's Wizard of Oz is not only a Hollywood classic, but still holds up to this day. And I agree with you. 
Wizard of Oz is one of those few movies from back in the day, and I mean way back in the day, that honestly can still stand the test of time, not only from a writing standpoint, but just from an overall acting and also just practical usage of props. These people didn't have CGI back then. There was very limited CGI even able to be done. So they had to make everything practically, and it was beautiful what they were able to produce just from practical effects, costumes, etc., etc. So they did a fantastic job with the original Wizard of Oz. It did not have to be remade, all right? Let's be very clear. This movie did not have to be remade. There's no reason to remake The Wizard of Oz. But now, of course, and I guarantee you, I promise you, if it's not already in this article, I promise you that when they come out and start advertising for this movie, they're going to start talking about making Wizard of Oz accessible to people that it wasn't accessible to before. Are you serious? It's the same argument that they had with J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. Same exact thing, and it's equally as stupid. But let's keep going. So it says so much so that despite numerous adaptations of the story having been done in the last roughly 80 years since its premiere, none of them have come close to having as much of a lasting impact as the actual main film. However, this reality hasn't stopped Barris from seeking to update the cinematic classic for modern audiences, specifically those of the LGBT community. Last week, Barris, who will be writing and directing a new project through Cal Slabo Inc. Society production studio, told Variety that his take on Dorothy's journey will give a whole new meaning to the phrase somewhere over the rainbow. I can only imagine. Listen, please, for the love of God, okay, do not support this movie. Do not support this movie because I know, I know, I just know already, they're going to fuck it up. They're going to fuck up an absolute classic, and it's unfortunate because they have they are coming to this movie and they're creating this movie with a mindset that is completely not going to help this movie whatsoever. It's not going to help this movie in the slightest. I promise you. And no, it's not because there's LGBTQ representation in this thing. No, it's because the creativity of the people making this movie is absolutely not only bankrupt, but if they had any, it is stifled by their politics. It is very clear that when they start talking like this, they're going to ruin whatever they're going to touch it is very very clear so do not support this movie when it comes out whatsoever and just please trash it because i guarantee you it's going to be trash and it's going to be well deserved so it says barris told the outlet that his version titled simply wizard of oz will feature representation from both lgbtq and other communities in an effort to tell a story that tackles modern day issues why are you trying to tackle modern day issues in the wizard of oz tell me what the fuck does the wizard of oz have to do with modern day issues and stop stop with the reaching these people like to reach and like to say oh well it could have meant this it could have meant that no shut the fuck up it's wizard of oz bro it's Wizard of Oz. What are you trying to do here? It says the original... Oh, here we go. The original was an allegory and a reflection of the way the world was at the time. This is what I'm saying, bro. This is what I'm saying. These people love to reach. They like... These people who see things through identity politics, they like to watch old movies and they love to f try to find things that don't exist. They love to try to look at things that don't exist and try to connect them to different things so that it justifies what they're trying to do with their movie. Instead of just doing their movie and saying, oh yes, my movie is inspired by XYZ, they say, well, the original is inspired. Let's see. So it says, the reflection of the way the world was at the time with things like the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl, said the director. Now we're going to turn a mirror on where we're at right now and take disparate characters from the LGBTQ community from different cultural communities communities and socioeconomic communities and tell a story that reflects the world this movie is going to be bad i'm telling you i'm telling you right now this movie is going to be bad it's going to be bad and it's a shame because it's never going to touch the original i promise you it's going to fuck up the actual magic from the original it's never it's just it's a pointless there's no reason for this to exist there's no reason for this movie to exist other than to just take over another known previous adaptation of a movie take it over and destroy it this is what they do it's what they do it says, I think this is the best time to do that, Barris said. I'm nervous, he added. Hopefully my movie can last as long as the original does. Hopefully my movie comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would be uh, very skeptical about whether or not your movie actually makes it to production. It says, over the last few years, Hollywood has made a strong push for LGBTQ characters in film and television. According to GLAD's 2022 Annual Studio Responsibility Index, an annual report which grades the efforts of the top eight major Hollywood studios in increasing the amount of LGBTQ representation in their productions, the industry set a record in 2021 with 12% of all characters appearing across broadcast, cable, and streaming television being depicted as a member of the community. 
This was roughly 2.2% total increase since 2018, when the organization publicly chastised networks and platforms must continue to prioritize telling LGBTQ stories that have been long overlooked with a specific focus on the trans community, LGBTQ people of color, people living with HIV, and what the fu- Oh my god, man. Oh my god. You know, like, this is- this is where this is where I draw the line, man, because you know what it is? Like I said, I say it all the time. They are going to stifle the creativity of all these studios by forcing them to include XYZ as checkboxes, okay? If they want to create stories organically that have to do with any of the things they mentioned, nobody would have a problem with it. But if you're trying to take over previously told stories and then insert checkboxes into it because Glad is tracking you and tracking what you're doing with your own productions, they're not even part of your productions. They're just a separate company that is trying to grade you as if their fucking grade matters. Like, who cares if Glad thinks that you're representative or not? Make your movie that you want to make. I guarantee you, if you are more true to the vision that you have for the movie that you're making you will probably be much more successful than if you're trying to please glad which is never going to be pleased in the first place which makes their name even more so ironic so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know we thought to tell story and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out